people say, oh, we, in order to have a safe space, we have to ban hate speech. But who decides what is hate? Yeah, usually government. But usually government, if you give them too much power, any absolute power is going to corrupt. So when we have to speak out against them, when they say that is hate speech, you cannot speak them, we are lost. Sometimes they have good intentions of saying, we don't want to racist remarks, so let's ban them. It's a hate speech. But then they don't know what they're playing with again. It goes down to that, like you literally kill all your family members because you said something wrong by mistake. And it almost forced North Korea to not to think anymore. And it's so appalling right now in the West. There's so much white I mean, guilt, white shame, right? Because maybe your ancestors collapsed on the slaves. And therefore, you are guilty. You are privileged. You no, know? like, and that's the thing in North Korea. Depending on what my ancestors did, if they were the landowners, they say, your blood is tainted. You know, and like, I could not choose it. Because of that, the next generation always punished. And not only this, this is thing called guilt by association. By associating somebody, you are guilty. Not just through the blood even, just being a colleague is enough sometimes. So because I spoke out after my escape, that guilt by association, that killed my three generations of my family who were left but punished. I don't know if they all got executed or sent to prison camp. And this kind of guilt, collective guilt, is what controlling the society. And I think just seeing the similarity here in free world right now is heartbreaking. And I don't know what, I don't think people understand what they're doing, but yeah. th what they're doing is so, so unbelievably dangerous. And they are playing with a fire right now. And I think this is a really interesting point because you're seeing now this massive attempt in the West to convince young people, particularly, that they are inheritors of ba a bad culture. They are bad people particularly if they're, uh, you know, of, of certain skin colour and even even sexual uh, uh, gender. Therefore, are illegitimate. They belong to a culture that's not worth defending. In, in right now in America, Hollywood, mainstream, the academia, like every single thing is getting money from China. And China has the biggest middle class, so the biggest consumer power in the world. So no mainstream, even CNN, BBC, like no mainstream is there to go after China. Mm -hmm. So why like we see so many movies that were made out of a Holocaust? We did not see single one single movie that's talking about North Korean human rights in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Because China will never give them money and never let that be sold, right? So because of that economic incentive, we have a censorship in America, in the world right now, with the Chinese government. I mean, right now, it's not like we are the only ones suffering right now. The Xinjiang people, like the Tibetans, the Muslims in China, sent to political prison camp. And imagine that was happening in America. Right now, every single person in, in the world can talk about how bad America is, but nobody does that right now in, in, in the world about China, right? So right now, like these American corporations, all these companies, like, you know, like cannot lose China, right? Yeah. They are doing everything they can, even Disney. I mean, it's unbelievable what they're doing to be nice to Chinese government. Why are they talking about this racial inequality, about justice, oppression in America? They are seeing every single day and they do not want to talk about oppression, that real oppression people experience in China. Because of that, it is, it's not like I'm anti-capitalism, you know, but I think conscious, capitalism is something what we needed because you know when you are only pushing just profits in the sake of profit without doesn't matter the morality and the consequences it causes to other humans i think that can be a problem and they do not want to lose that chinese market where it has the biggest consuming power in the world so they gotta create a movie that is you know liked by chinese communist party because everything is censored in their country Ya sé, ya sé lo que algunas personas van a decir.